Hey guys and welcome back. We're going to be starting a new Let's Play series here today on a, an old platform game for the PC uh, called Commander Keen. Uh, we're going to be starting with the first episode, Commander Keen in Invasion of the Vorticans, Episode 1, Marooned on Mars. Okay, so this is a... Uh, this, I think this came out in about 1990, uh, 1991 possibly thereabouts. Um, it's by id software the same company that brought us later innovations in the 3d first person shooter type games with wolfenstein 3d doom all that sort of thing um this was a bit before that this is um this game basically came about when they they, they had tried to make a kind of smooth scrolling platform engine for the pc um to kind of compete with what was around on consoles at the time um, I believe they initially sent a, a, a kind of rough alpha off to Nintendo, um, who basically told them they couldn't release a Super Mario clone um, under the through the engine. But they did congratulate them on the technical achievement. Um, anyway, um, Commander Keen were basically well. Let's let's start with the story. Let's get a bit of a background on what's going on here. Commander Keen in Invasion of the Vorticans. Billy Blaze, eight-year-old genius, working diligently in his backyard clubhouse, has created an interstellar starship from old soup cans, rubber cement, and plastic tubing. While his folks are out in the town and the babysitter has fallen asleep, Billy travels into his backyard workshop, dons his brother's football helmet, and transforms into... Commander Keen, Defender of Earth. In his ship, the Bean with Bacon Mega Rocket, Keen dispenses galactic justice with an iron hand. Episode 1, Marooned on Mars. In this episode, aliens from the planet Vorticon 6 find out about the eight-year-old genius and plan his destruction. While Keen is out exploring the mountains of Mars, the Vorticans steal vital parts of his ship and take them to distant Martian cities. Can Keen recover all of the pieces of his ship and repel the Vortican invasion? Will he make it back before his parents get home? Stay tuned. What the Vorticans have stolen. The Bean with Bacon Mega Rocket was constructed from objects around the house that you have modified into starship parts. A joystick from your brother's video game. Manual flight control. A car battery from your mom's car. Electrical systems power. A vacuum cleaner from the kitchen, heavily modified. Ion propulsion unit with carpet height adjustment. And Everclear from your dad's liquor cabinet as fuel. The Vorticans have taken these pieces to the far reaches of Mars and are guarding them. You must find the members of this Vorticon outpost and wrest the parts back from their wicked clawed hands. Information on Mars Unbeknownst to NASA, when the Viking lander settled to the surface of Mars, it caused a major political upheaval. Viking actually landed on the despotic Martian King. The Yorps, the extremely friendly one-eyed Martians, were free from enslavement, and the Gargs, the vicious aggressive Martians, were angry. The Martians created robots for menial work and guard duties. Beware of the tank-like guard robots, they are very good at what they do. Martians have been visiting Earth in UFOs for decades. Why? They came to Earth for one reason. They want our toys. Hula hoops and skateboards are holy objects to them. Who knows, you may find some toys useful. There are signs everywhere. You haven't been able to decipher them yet. The adventure begins. Your task is before you. Go get him, Commander Keen. Okay. So, a little bit of background there. So basically, we're a kid that um, flies around in a spaceship that he built out of household materials and has had parts of his spaceship stolen while wandering around the surface of Mars. You know, as you do when you're eight years old. Um, so, let's get started. We're going to start a new game here. Um, Commander Keen, Episode 1. Here we go. 
Okay, so this is the map screen. This is the surface of Mars, and we've got uh, Commander Keen wandering around on the surface there, as you do on the surface of Mars, you know, just walking about like nothing's um, nothing's really going on there. So, this is our ship, the Bean with Bacon Mega Rocket. As you can see, the ship is missing four parts the joystick, the battery, the vacuum cleaner, and the fuel. We are to retrieve these parts so that we can escape from Mars. Now, obviously some aliens have taken these parts from our ship. What are their intentions? We'll find out soon enough. Um, in the meantime, let's start wandering around. So this strange little area here, I think it's, it's meant to be sort of dome structures, a sort of city inside domes or something like that. So let's pop in here and explore the first level. So. There's Commander Keen, you can jump around as you do in a platform game. These little one-eyed things are Yorps. They're the friendly Martians. Um, so they they don't they don't hurt you, um, not intentionally anyway. They you can jump on their head to stun them. They'll just shove you around, really. Um, which normally isn't a problem. Um, see that you can just let this guy push you around here. It's normally not an issue unless, you know, you're next to like a bottomless pit or something like that, then it can become a little bit of a problem. Now, uh, Keen at the moment can run around and jump and he can't do much else. Um, apart from collect these items, which give us points. Um, points in this game really only serve a couple of purposes, where well, you can get on a, a high scores um, list, and you can also get an extra life for every certain number of points you collect. And this is the this is the status screen, so you can see here we've got an extra keen at 20,000 points. We've currently got 1,600. And each of the items you collect give you different numbers of points. Um, so, we'll probably try and pick up a few extra lives along the way. I'm not going to go crazy and try and collect every item in every level, because some of them are next to impossible to actually get. Um, anyway, this is a gun. And you'll see above it there, um, there's a sign which is written in the standard galactic alphabet, I believe it's called. Um, there's another one down at the bottom right there. We can't read this... Um, Although, we, we, you can kind of make guesses at what it says, and I think it's in episode 3, there is actually a room where you, you can get a complete, um, a, a, a kind of big sign that basically shows you which character in English um, represents the, um, the same character in the standard galactic alphabet. So it's really, the words are just written in English, um, they are just in a kind of unusual script. Um, I'm not totally sure. I think that says this is something. Um, I'm not sure what the bottom word is. This is ammo, possibly. Nah, it's not that. Two middle levels. Any, anyway, we're, I'm not going to focus too hard on trying to decipher all these. Uh, let's get a move on. So you don't want to fall down pits like that. That's obviously spikes, that's going to kill you. These strange things also kill you. So we want to really avoid um, running into things like that. And that's the exit of the level. I'm just going to jump up here and pick up a few more points items first of all. A slice of pizza. There we go. So let's get out of here. So that's a pretty typical keen level. Um, pretty short level, the first one there. Let's move out. And as you can see, it's now marked with done on the map. So, where to next? Well, before I close up this video, I'll pop in here and what is that, you may ask? That is a pogo stick. Now, this is one of Keen's trademarks. He finds it in this game and has it for the rest of the series, basically, apart from one game, Keen Dreams. Uh, we'll go on to that a bit more later. But you can see the pogo stick lets you jump a lot higher. That's that's his normal highest jump height. The pogo stick lets you go up as high as that. Um, that's basically, you, you toggle the pogo stick with the alt button and 
Control is the jump button. If you pull down control while you're in the pogo stick, you'll jump higher. Um, one minor problem with this control scheme is that the buttons for firing your gun are control and alt together, so it's quite easy to fire that off by mistake. Uh, you'll probably see me do that a whole bunch of times. Anyway, uh, let's see. Let's see if I can make it across here without dying. I've got a feeling I probably won't. Doop. Doop. Oh, we died. Yeah. <laughs> There's lots of little jumpy puzzles like that that will um, really kill you. There's not really much up here apart from some points, I think. So, I'll give it one more try and see if we can get across. Whoop. 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 Yeah, made it. That guy is a garg. These are the not-so-friendly Martians. These things will kill you if you touch them. Uh, and there, there we go. That's a demonstration of what happens if you press control and alt together. Um, we'll want to basically collect quite a lot of extra ammo because it's quite easy to fire off shots by accident in this game due to the control system. So... I'm going to try and avoid shooting enemies as much as possible as well, when there are situations where we'll probably have to, but I'm not going to waste a shot on that guy just because I don't need to shoot him for any reason. So anyway, there we go, we have collected our pogo stick, um, and we are beginning our quest to collect the items we need to fix our spaceship. Um, so I'm going to call this the end of the video. In the next one, we will basically continue from where we have left off here. Um, and we'll look for the first part of our ship uh, and try and begin our journey home. Let's escape from Mars. Okay, so anyway, uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Um, as always, you know, if, you, if you've enjoyed this video, give us a like, leave some comments, leave us some feedback, let me know what you think. And um, you know, if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe. Um, I'm always adding new videos up here, so uh, yeah, subscribe and you'll get updates and that kind of thing. Um, anyway, in the meantime, I uh, hope you've all enjoyed this, hope to see you the next time, and catch you later guys!